See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and the blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Direct your faithful Lord in the way of eternal salvation, which the Bishop St. Apollinaris showed by his teaching and martyrdom, and grant through his intercession that we may so persevere in keeping your commandments as to merit being crowned with him. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth, for the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt. From the place of slavery I released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams? with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving covenant of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? 
I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign. But no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When you came to the church, you drove from your house following signs and then by being faithful to the signs, you were able to reach this, de uh, this destination. Our roads have many signs to help us for safety and lead us to destination. If you are arrogant and ignore those signs on the road, you will crash somewhere and you will not reach the destination. The person who ignores the sign as, uh, those signs and asks for directions, the sign is there and someone stops and asks uh, someone else, where is the direction? This person will be seen as a crazy person and an idiot. That's why in the gospel, Jesus uses those tough and strong words, an evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it. Because here is Jesus preaching, teaching, and healing people who are afflicted with various diseases and infirmities. And yet, these leaders, religious leaders, are asking, we want to see a sign from you. What is it? They're supposed to listen to his teachings. So what he was doing, because himself was the sign from God. And that's why from the gospel acclamation we heard, 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Because if you hear his voice, you will become upright. You will do according to his word, to his teaching, and therefore you will be upright, as we heard in the Responsible Psalm, that to the upright, God will show his saving power. So these people tried to block their minds, block their hearts from listening and seeing the sign Jesus was performing. And that's why blindly asking, asked him, we wanted to see a sign from you. We needed to know that doing and loving goodness is the true sacrifice of praise which Jesus, the Son of the Father, offered. And we needed to be good, to be kind, to be faithful to his word. Today, you and I are called to listen to his voice, to listen to his word, and do what is right, what is righteous. And thus, God will show us his saving power. Let us ask St. Apollinaris, Bishop and Mata, whose option of memorial are celebrating today, to pray for us that we may always open our hearts, open our minds to the voice of the Lord, and thus do what is right, what is good. We now offer our petitions to the Father, confident in his loving response. As we pray for all members of the church, may the Lord strengthen and protect us, his servants. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people, may God look graciously upon them and lead them to the peace that only he can give. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elimination of every disease and affliction. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in prayer, for our families, for our friends, and for all community of St. Matthew, may the manifestation of God's kingdom in our midst help us lead holy and faithful lives. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Virginia Gallo and the faithful departed, May they rest in peace and rejoice in the presence of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all other intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. All loving God, hear the prayers we have offered today. We pray through Christ, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Bless you, the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will come for us the bread of life. Bless you now and forever. Bless you, the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink.
Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and all the holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is a truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth have full of glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may come for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, and thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. Against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, from us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. Have, mercy have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you away, take the away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a member of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. <clears throat> I will praise the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Majestic and glorious his worth his justice stands firm forever. He has given us a memorial of his wonders. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. He gives food to those who fear him keeps his covenant ever in mind. His mighty works he has shown to his people by giving them the heritage of nations. 
The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. His handiwork, his justice and truth, his precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, wrought in uprighteousness and truth. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. He has sent redemption to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy is his name to be feared. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Understanding marks all who attain it. His praise endures forever. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.